Right, guys, Fan Cam's first on Luke. Uh, Luke, we're finally off to a win. It's a perfect start for Valley and Ishmael. Uh, thoughts on the game? Well, I think overall in the second half, I think from 20 minutes onwards, we were the better team. Yeah. Um, I think QPR fair play to them. They came out of the blocks and started quickly, which I think caught us by surprise. I think we were a bit uh, panicked to start. We were a bit nervous at the back. Yeah. Uh, felt I felt they started really well at home. We again, the door nightmares the first 10 minutes. Um, but they didn't, have, they didn't really make any, you know, saves out of Walton, which were good. And I felt that one thing that we needed to do is just really ride it out and just, you know, mm. grow into the game in the first half. And we did that and got the goal for the first goal. Um, I don't think it was a red card. I think it was a penalty, but I think it, I don't think it was no, a red J card. No, J James said that when I spoke to him at half-time, but... I don't know. I don't know how it works because I thought the change rule with, with red card when they give a penalty, they don't get red card. It's because it's a double punishment. I don't know what the what what they've done, but well, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think he has. He, I I would have personally had have said red before. I think. Well, I don't know. I think they had they had a man covering, so I, I saw their full back coming round to cover. Um, so from a QPR perspective, I'm going to be fair. I don't think it was a red card personally, but yeah. that goal settled us, and I think it changed the game. That first goal and um, really gave us that confidence to go on. And then you know, again that second, you know, five six minutes before half time, yeah, were a really good thing for us because I was thinking, well, at one nil they were still very much in the game. And mm. second half we played some really good football. That I, you know, bringing James and I don't know if the door was um, was carrying a knock at half time. Um, but James came on and he's just a he's just Class a act, isn't it? yeah he's coming he's just a ball and it he's um, just made it look so easy and it, and it mm. gives Mowat pressure it takes pressure off Mowat he can go further forward and get involved in creative play which I do like mm. um, I thought Samoas came on and did well he got featured well I think back four was really solid Callum Britton again another really good game down that right hand side he looks a good a really good player him. I'm, I'm happy with him he, and yeah. it goes to show, like we said, you know, British players ready to make that move up. Yeah, definitely. What we want to talk about. Uh, I think if finish. If, I, I, yeah, if we scout them, that's it. Uh, I mean, finishing towards ends questionable. I think if it's nil nil, we're sat here going absolutely by me, aren't we? I mean, that, yeah. I mean, I mean, it could have been ten nil in end really. Um, yeah. Schmidt could have had an hat trick. Samoas, Chaplin, Mowat had a save on right foot. That's decent save by keeper. Uh, I didn't see third goal because it bloody eye followed. No, I didn't. I'd missed third goal, so oh, <laughs> own goal apparently. Good. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch that back on uh, Sky Highlights to see just to see goal. But you know, overall, Luke, I think it were really good because I think the lads again, similar to when Murray were coaching him, upset. I just felt that a couple of tweaks here and there, Ishmael, it reminded me a bit of um, Stendhal in a weird way because he, he he weren't stopping talking which I, yeah, I yeah. love that. I, yeah, and I think lads them age lads that age need coaching as they're going along mm. I think it's important and I think um, to to really coach them during the game was important but you know first first game under his under his tenure and we you know three goals clean sheet at home we can't complain and it's put us up the table and it's stood us in good stead for the rest of the season mm. hopefully now McKin, yeah, you know, I, I just think we were all all we're missing with that first win. Mm. Um, but I'm I'm really pleased with the result. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a massive it's really a massive good. result, mate. We needed it and all. It were we were saying it preview, weren't we? What I mean, I was saying when I started live stream, I did feel like it were a must win game, really, back at home under new management. I, I did feel like, you know, it were, if we were, had to won this one, it would have been a big opportunity missed. And uh... We're a winnable, you know, definitely a winnable game. And these are the games that realistically you, you can win and QPR yeah. come to play football. And I think that suited us. Mm. Uh, I don't but, think, you know, they were, even at 3-0, they were still m m putting men forward, which then opened it up with the back because obviously they had a man less. So yeah. I think it really suited as well. But, you know, we go to the weekend, we you know, we go again. There's lads that haven't even got a game that will be... You know, like Sir Herbie Kane, you know, that's show strength in depth that lads who can't come off the bench just due to the subs that we've met. So it's mm. good competition for places. I still feel we need a free, free agent striker in. Yeah. Um, I saw Woodrow going off. I don't know if that was just precautionary or what. I don't know. Um, in second half, I felt he had a really good game leading the line, well causing yeah. problems. 
I thought Cha- Styles had a really good game. Styles did. I thought Chaplin did today as well. We, yeah, we questioned yeah. him on Saturday and I thought he put a big shift in tonight. Yeah, I felt Freezer had a good game. Um, yeah. I don't you know, think anybody had a bad game, mate, did they? Had, even I subs. Think- yeah, I felt. I think Schmidt and Simoes obviously they could have got probably two apiece. So <laughs> from that aspect, it'd be it'd be nice for them yeah. to get a good bit of confidence and just to finish the game off because we deserved the fourth. We were creating chances, but you know you can't be too greedy at times. So I felt one to eleven as a, as a unit, and the subs that came on, we weren't really hard, and we just kept playing that way that is clearly demanded from from when he came in at the weekend, which is yeah. really nice. To do. Um, and it was just good. It was good game management at times, just slowing the game down, even if it's twenty. Just taking, you know, even when we're under the cost to start with, they started really quickly, and you know, I'm thinking, oh, for God's sake, I hope we don't concede mm. here because we look very nervous. But it were, it were good just to stay in the game, you know, just to battle that 20 minutes out, and after that, we just start a playing his game, just getting the ball on the floor, which suits us. Yeah, and I'm really pleased, you know, I'm really pleased. Like I said, I always said this, you know, when they play well, I'll commend them for it, and um, I obviously want us to do well, you know. I think it's nice for us to, to go up the table and. Hopefully now we can get a couple of results together. We, who we're playing on Saturday. Is it Watford? I think Watford. Oh. Oh, uh, I'll double check, but it'll be a tough game. I yeah, I'll t- take a point I, now. I'm on my fixture list. <laughs> I'll take a point now because obviously this game we're a more of a like a must-win game. Like yeah, it, yeah, at home, at home, we're Watford. Do, yeah, go to Watford, and you know, it, I think we, you know, we're going into that game confident. They're clearly good. You know, they're clearly still a very good side. But you can you go into that game thinking, well, if we do draw at all, that's mm. not bad. Two games in a week against uh, two two decent football insides. Yeah, um, it takes the pressure off rather than having to go into every other game thinking we need to win, we need to win. It's un- we've got it out of way now. Mm. Hopefully, psychologically now we can then push on um, and start to get some wins together. We're four unbeaten, which is good to see. So. I hopefully, think, um, hopefully it's a turning point, and uh, you know, all all it. You know, just going to take a game at a time. You know, don't look too far ahead. Um, but I do like the style of play so far. I, I were, I were, I were, I were rubbing my head together after the first 20 minutes because we were just lumping it forward and that doesn't seem to suit us at all. Mm. But as soon as, we, as soon as we settled down and as soon as we like just dealt with their issues the first 20 minutes, what they were causing us, I think we uh, we controlled the game. And James coming on, I think, at half-time. Even if a dog were injured, I think that did help us a lot just to really calm us down and have that influence. It's it, first thing, especially the first 10 minutes in the second half, I'll sit with 2-0. Because mm. if they score it, you know, it, momentum changes altogether in that first 10 minutes in the second half. So it was nice just to get that third and just to really... Yeah, yeah. A lot more with last 20 left. But yeah, really please, Lou. You know, I can only say good things about that performance tonight. Mm. Yeah, that's your performance, mature performance as well. And it's nice to uh, be doing here, sat here talking about stuff like that because normally we sat here board draws or losses and stuff like that. So it's nice yeah, to yeah, actually. So it's all come together in one performance. You know, we were due a win, and I felt that there were a lot of good things that we're doing. Even in the last three games, it was just about putting it together and just getting rid of some yeah. of the mistakes. And even defence just did the basics well. They didn't overcomplicate it. Yeah, they had to get into rows that they did. When they could play football, they did so. Really professional, mature performance by the lads. So, you know, I can't say a bad thing about tonight. Really, I would have liked obviously more goals because we deserved them. But you know, we'd have took we'd have took a three nil, a three points before we start the game, wouldn't we? So yeah, okay, of course we would have. Of course we would have. Uh, all right then, Luke. Well, pleasure to speak to you. I'll let you crack on if you're working tonight, yeah. and uh, <laughs> I'll uh, let you know for uh, if you want to join us Thursday for preview. Um, yeah, no if you, worries. If you're yeah. busy, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see Luke in the next one. Thank you, Luke. See you in a bit, mate. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye.